Sunday night football in week one. We got the LA Rams traveling to Detroit to take on the Lions in the Dome. This is a rematch of last year's NFC wildcard game. The Lions won that game by a score of 24 to 23. Can the Rams get revenge here? Well, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get all sports, all access, three days, only 49 bucks. That's any handicapper of your choice. I recommend this guy right here. I'm up 140 units with my big plays. That's 4% and 5% plays in 2024, and that is number one at wagertalk.com. Uh, as always, there's no obligation to purchase anything. You're more than welcome to tune in and just absorb the free content. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Let's get into the free pick. we got Detroit, minus 3.5 points. The total is sitting at 51. And I'm pretty interested in that total. I did mention that the Lions won by a score of 24 to 23 last year. That score is a little misleading. They scored 38 points in the first half of that game, and they could only manage three field goals the rest of the way. Uh, the total was set at 53 for that playoff game. The total is set for 51 here in this game. I think that's a little low for two teams with excellent quarterbacks and high-powered offenses. Uh, we do have new rules in the NFL this year, new kickoffs and uh, no hip, hip drop tackles. And I'm not going to make any blanket statements about how those rules will affect the uh, score lines. I will say this, though. The NFL is not in the business of adding new rules that will uh, reduce scoring. It, it can only increase scoring, in my opinion. Whether that happens or not remains to be seen. We know that there's been a long-time trend of prime time unders. Uh, I, I don't know if that continues here. This just looks like a game where both these teams are going to score plenty of points. Uh, the Lions come in with the number ranked offensive line in the NFL. They also have the highest paid offensive linemen. The Rams are just average with the number 16 ranked offensive line. Uh, their left tackle will be suspended for this game. The right tackle is a little bit banged up. Um, I think this certainly favors the Lions. And if I was going to Look at the side, I would, I would go that way. But again, I'm looking at the total. I'm expecting a high score. And in the player prop market, when you expect a high score and you have a high total, that's uh, favorable for anytime touchdown scores and player prop uh, over bets. And that's what I got here. I'm going to look at David Montgomery, uh, anytime touchdown. It is quite cheap considering that we – we do have a high total, considering that Detroit is the favorite, so their team total will be higher. Uh, I like David Montgomery, anytime touchdown, and Matthew Stafford, over 273.5 yards. Stafford threw for 367 yards in last year's uh, wild card game. The previous time he faced Detroit, he threw for 327 yards. And I think that uh, the Rams are, will be behind the eight ball for much of this game. That will force Stafford to continue passing the ball. I expect him to go over that passing yards number. Um, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.